I'm going to be working on this little child rocking chair. Um, this was given to me a while ago in this state with some other bits of furniture that I did. Now, I'm doing this, it's my cousin's little boy, Teddy. It's his first birthday party this Sunday. And what we are at the moment, we're on Tuesday. So I'm giving myself a bit of a job to get this done. I don't know what needs doing, it obviously needs re-gluing, there's a couple of breaks on it. I want to do it nice for him. My wife's actually got him a little outfit for his first birthday, but I just wanted to do him something nice that he can keep for a while. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on this and hopefully he'll like it. So let's get going. You can see, obviously, <laughs> it's come to pieces. It's worn. I'm assuming if these joints are all loose then the likelihood is everything else will be loose so I'm going to take it to pieces which will be easier to work on actually so I'll take it all to pieces first but it's got these brakes which are quite common in these bent wood frames it's got one there it's actually still quite strong but obviously they don't look very good so I'm going to remove some of that finish to have a look at what I'm working with, what kind of wood it is. I think it's beech, the normally beech or something like that. I'll just get going on it. I'll disassemble it and see what we've got. So a tip to this is I am going to label them. As I take them off, I'll label them. And then as I work on each piece, I'll set the label off, re-put it on when it's finished. Just so I can put it all back together properly. Oh, somebody's come in to say hello. Hello. <laughs> Are you bored already? Yes, yeah, a good girl. Aren't you? Yeah. I'm very busy today, Daisy. What's this now? Who's that? Where's your mum? Where's your mum? Go and get your mum. hoping these aren't nailed in. It is. It looks nailed in. Which is a real pain. I hate this. When they put pin nails in. Really, really annoying. That was really easy. I've never had a nail come out that easy before. That was lucky. The idea was just to drill that hole out. I've done this before. You drill it and it drills the, the metal out as well and just put a plug in, but this isn't working. I'm gonna have to put a little piece of wood in here. It's, it's not a problem. It's just more stuff to do. So, so annoying this. <laughs> All right, it's actually, it's moving now, but there you go. I've had to bend them. Now I've got most of it off, I've had to bend it. Let's mess that up a bit, but we'll have to sort that out, no problem. Before I start going at this, I'm gonna check for nails. Oh, look at that, another nail there, another nail there, another one there, another one there. These joints at the bottom aren't actually that bad. Even where they go into the base of the chair, they're quite solid. I'm gonna to have to take these out because I want to do something with the seat another nail there as well so that must go through to that this is going to be the worst part of this job but needs to be done this one was just popped up from the surface of the wood so I managed to get it up with that and I'll just try and pull it out with this look at the size of them nails <laughs> doesn't need them if it's glued properly Annoying. I am actually talking to camera here, but I'll spare you the rants and raves about me going on about the nails. But this is just an indication of the tools that I used to get rid of all the nails that I needed to get rid of. And unfortunately, I did damage the chair in a couple of areas, which I'll have to repair. But yeah, it took me about an hour, hour and a half.
on the screen. <laughs> oh. This was supposed to be a simple job. that was in tight. I want the seat to be sort of on its own away from everything else for what I want to do so if I wasn't doing that I wouldn't have battled with this. They're obviously very tight in and they weren't loose so I'd have just left them as they were but I want this seat just to be flat so that's why I've had to do that. This is what I mean by some of the repairs I'm gonna have to do. Right Next. The whole chair is solid wood, so not bothering with scraping or stripping. The finish is in a poor state anyway, so I'm just going to straighten with the sander. You can see the cracks in this now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little piece of wood in there just to strengthen it up. It don't go through all the way and it's still still quite solid. So I'm just going to put little slithers of wood in there just to close those cracks up and that should be fine. Play with your washing line. <laughs> Do you? Okay then. This is Daisy's obsession. Another obsession of Daisy's. <laughs> Retractable washing line. She's actually broke this one, but are you ready? Are you ready? Ready, steady, go! <laughs> what have you got? You got your line? Who's daft? Hey, who's daft? <laughs> Love this dog. What I've done is rather than cutting it straight because that cut isn't straight because that's where the crack was if I'd have cut it straight then the grain would have shot off at a different angle so it'd be more obvious it's not quite in line but it should look a lot less obvious so glue that once cut all these glue them up and then can shape them once they're dry I'm going to spray these with a bit of water just so they'll they'll swell a little bit hopefully to fill any cracks sort of that way Right, leave that to dry 
this isn't structural so an easier way of doing it to hide it is to use some filler and I've got this colorant so that's quite a decent match so add some filler I don't know how much I need of this but let's put quite a bit in So let that dry now, it'll probably shrink back a bit because it's quite a big bit to fill and then I might just need to top it up, but let that dry off a bit. There you go, you can't even, you can't even tell look. Finish these off with a sander. Well, you can see that. I'm hoping you can't actually, but yeah, that's the repair. There's a little crack there, so I'll just put a little bit of filler in there. Yes, yeah, come out okay. That's the other one. Just need to go over this with one uh, 240 now. I wanted this to be an extra special gift for Teddy, so I'm going to be laser engraving his name on the seat part of the chair, which is why I needed to remove it to get it into the laser. This is my X Tool P2 laser, and I've used this on videos in the past it is such a great piece of kit to get creative with this if you're interested in these types of lasers I'll, I'll leave a link to X Tool in the description I needed to make sure I got this right first time because I only had one seat and I was really pleased with how it came out just needs a bit of a sand and then ready for finish I'm going to use this in case somebody wants to take it apart and doesn't have the same problem I had. I hope you've enjoyed the video so far and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to all the supporters of the channel, whether that's through the Buy Me A Coffee page, my Amazon wish list, or the Super Thanks button. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you. Right, I was going to glue all the rest of it tonight, but I'm running out of time to be honest. I'm going out, I'm going to see Cirque du Soleil actually. But, um, yeah, I'm going to clamp this up, leave this to dry, I'll leave that overnight, and then hopefully it'll be easier to do the top section when that's all dry. Obviously you're not going to have to wait that long, you'll see this in a couple of seconds. Right, let's go. I wouldn't normally film this because they'll be swearing. <laughs> right. <gasps> what have you got? 
already washed your mind, have you? <laughs> Nutter. There you go, all clamped. So just to leave that to dry now. Just give that a clean up now with some 240 sandpaper. Get rid of some of these glue marks and where I've wiped it down it's raised the grain a bit so clean that up and then on to top coat. The top coat I'm using on this is a clear acrylic lacquer in a satin finish. I'm not using stain on this piece because I want to retain the lightness of the wood, so I'm just using the lacquer. It had three coats with a rub down in between each coat. So if you've lasted this long, I would like to say a massive thank you. I really do appreciate people watching these videos. It surprises me every time and hopefully you've enjoyed it and i will see you on the next one also stay tuned to the end to see teddy's reaction to his new chair it's priceless <laughs> <laughs>